First, turn editing on by clicking on the button here or the link down here. Then, scroll down to the section where you want to add the assignment. Click Add an activity or resource. Choose the Activities tab. Select the Choice activity. If you want more information on the Choice activity and what you can do with it, Click on the information icon. As with any activity, you should always give it a meaningful name. A description is always very useful, especially to let students know of the purpose of this activity and what they are expected to do. The display mode is also very useful in terms of graphics. I would suggest to display options vertically. Allow choice to be updated is useful to have it on yes because very often we change our minds. Allow more than one choice to be selected is usually set to no unless you want the students to make more choices. Limit the number of responses allowed will set a limit to how many participants can choose each option. As you can see, an additional field is added. Next, we set how many items are to be chosen from. For this sake, I would say choice 1 and there are 10 spots available for that. Then choice 2 and for that we have 5 and choice X and for that we have 5 too. If 5 choices is not enough then you can add 3 more fields. Next we're going to look at the availability. In this activity availability means until when they can choose their items. So we will allow response from this date until the 3rd of October. And I would like the students to be able to see the preview before the opening date. The results tab is indicating whether the students can see their own results or if they can also see the results of others. In making a choice, I prefer students to always see what other students have chosen. Privacy, you can decide whether you want to publish it anonymously, so the names are not shown, or to publish full results. Once you're done, you click on Save and Display. On the display page, you see how it looks, so they're displayed vertically, so they make a choice and select it, and here they can see the results of other students. You can click on view how many responses to be able to download them in several formats. 